Hello y'all, this is Novum Vexilum, a Hearts of Iron 4 mod set in the modern day that is built from the old files of another mod called Millennium Dawn. Besides that, I am also using a sub mod called Novum Vexilum Global Conflict. With all that out of the way, this video is going to act as part one of a Iraqi Republic playthrough where I will try not to get destroyed. We have started and let's go to our national overview and we can see that we have one national spirit and it is Arab League member and this will make it harder for us to justify war goals but it's something we do have to deal with. And besides that the ruling ideology of the country is nationalist, the Ba'ath party is in charge and the leader of the country, uh, the leader of the Iraqi Republic is Saddam Hussein and historically he was a notorious politician who served as the fifth president of Iraq from 1979 until 2003. He is known for quite a few things, such as his authoritarian rule, numerous human right, human right abuses, and also invasions of neighboring Iran and Kuwait, which should not go very well for Iraq, to say the least. Hussein was very big in the Ba'athism, which is an ideology that espouses a mix of Arab nationalism and Arab socialism. That is what the Ba'ath party is. It espouses Ba'athism. And with all that out of the way, let's go to our research slots. We have two of those. We have Cold War Tech, which probably isn't ideal since this is the year 2000. And let's get basic construction tools done, free military factories. We only have three. Make some guns, support equipment, and what else? Artillery. We need a lot more factories for our divisions, but I have no choice there. I don't have many options for what I can build. We have three civilian factories, and let's, I mean, what can we build here? Let's build a, what, build some more civilian factories. And do we have, okay, that's anti-air. Whatever, just build some civilian factories in Baghdad, since it has the most infrastructure, and it will mean that it's very easier, it's easier to put civilian factories or buildings up there than it is anywhere else at, the, at this moment in time. And we have some free dockyards. Let's make a convoy. That's all we have. We have no navy. We do have a big army, though. One of the largest in the world, I believe. I don't know if they're very good, but we have 64 divisions overall. Our navy is non-existent, and we have a very, not that big of an air, air force, but on the bright side, we do have one transport wing and some paired troopers, so we can try to take advantage of that in any conflict in the future. And now we have a generic focus tree, but that's cool. We can make do with this by doing these focuses in the army branch of the tree. And now let's do bolster to army. And it says here, it should be clear that the situation in the world is getting hotter. This may cause a war to happen soon. To prepare for this event, we must expand our army. And with that done now, let's start assigning our division, our divisions all to armies. So army one here is going to be led by Ahmed Hashim and get a few more divisions to him. That's good. Now set up army two and they're going to be led by Hamid al-Maliki and that's army two established. Now one more army and some of these divisions are not very great. We have a lot of say I guess artillery brigades and Fadayin Saddam units. These guys are like kind of paramilitary. That's what they were in real life. I'm not so sure how good they are but we have them and I'm a little concerned about their quality, but it's something we have to deal with. We'll just have to handle that the best we can. Army 3 is established. They'll be led by Kwasi Jasim Nazal. And now let's give them all one marshal. We're going to have Izzat Ibrahim al duri lead our forces. And let's all put these units on the border with Saudi Arabia, who frankly we're going to try to invade for their resources and their industrial capacity. They have factories. We want their factories and their fuel, mainly their fuel. And also, one thing I didn't mention is that the Americans have a naval base here near our border to the south. Like, look at this. This is a U.S. naval base. 2,000 population, but they sh they have a land connection with Iraq. And that is not a good thing for us because they may, they may possibly invade us in the future. Let me recruit one infantry division here. I need more equipment, though. I really do. I don't know if I'm going to get it. I'm going to have to get more factories some way, somehow. But i got to bolster up the army. Can I improve the amount of military factories I have? I probably can if I just look at the focus tree more. Let's unpause now. 
look at the focus trees focus tree where's the industry stuff I need I need some new security council members all that thing all that stuff so we have this focus here free market economy don't worry about that or we could never mind okay so free market economy we can get ourselves some military factories down the line not right now though and what does it take for how much political power do we need to justify on Arabia we need 53 more political power oh great so we gotta wait a few more days to get that underway which is unfortunate and we heavily outnumber the Saudi Arabian military I think the Algiers agreement has occurred Eritrea and Ethiopia have peaced out so good for them and yeah let me check the intel here Saudi Arabia has 827 divisions obviously we have like almost 70 well approximately 65 which is a lot of troops but I'm a little concerned about their quality honestly and cause a lot of these units are like in what's this mode here they're in this is reserve mode so I'm a little concerned about equipment we also don't really have enough factories to really supply our military so that's definitely a problem the army needs more equipment but bolstered army will be done soon I should probably do something that can get us more military factories that would be a good idea but I need to buff up my army at the same time I definitely gotta do that so get this completed here and the Arab Republic of Egypt is now fighting Sudan over some triangle in the desert and well in a in a desert so bolstered army is nearly done and do I get more military factories? I should prioritize those, shouldn't I? So if we go with nationalism here, that's monarchy, no nationalism. I need military factories some way, somehow. This is not giving me any factories. Forget that then. So can I do this? I mean, we could. So boast the army is done. Let's now complete a new economy for a new millennium to get some research bonuses for industry. I need to get more factories just any kind of factory and I suppose we'll do centrally planned economy and that will allow us to do quite a few things well actually I may I, I don't know whatever I'm gonna just do I I guess I'll do a free market economy for now or no whatever I'm gonna maybe go ahead and do have to change what I'm doing again in my focus tree like complete focus on political matters national strength and nationalism over here and this is all part of the generic focus tree there's like a generic branch or generic path for every single ideology in the in our country in the mod so that's good and a new economy for a new millennium is going to be complete it's about halfway there almost there anyway and can i start justifying on the kingdom of saudi arabia yes i can i need more political power come on i need 60 political power that is rough and Sudan was annexed by Egypt. They lost the war. They didn't just lose the triangle, they lost their entire country. Partisan, social democrat activist, gains activist, gains prominence, carry on, or no, silenced activist. No, I don't want to lose political power, forget that. So, I need to justify on Saudi Arabia now. Soon, I'm almost there. Come on, I need more political power. Need a little bit more political power. A couple more days. It's all we need for the Iraqi Republic to get ready to go against the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia sometime later in the year 2000, I think, the year 2000 anyway. So justify now, 285 days. It might be 2001 when the war starts. I mean, I, I don't know. We'll just have to make do with that. And I'm really hoping when some events in September 2001 occur, because they historically did, the USA, if they do occur in this timeline, the USA does not attack us. America chooses the status quo. The Russian Federation is going to fight the Chechen Republic. And a new economy for a new millennium is done. Let's now complete focus on political matters. I need to probably focus heavily on getting enough military factories to help build up my military. And just make sure they're supplied at all times. So focus on political matters will be done shortly. Then we'll do national strength and nationalism. So that's 140 days there right off the bat I know it is because they're both 70 day long focuses that's how long it will take to complete both of them Vladimir Putin is elected president all right then and now we're just waiting it is we are we are at 60 percent world tension Israel causes large amount of civilian casualties following rocket strikes 
and we will embargo Israel. And that is done at this point. So focus on political matters. So keep waiting now, 15 out of 35 days for the focus to be done. We're getting there. And I probably gotta relocate my paratroopers, give them their own army. Just have them be set up in their own force. That could be good. So move them here, have them set up in this air base, and they'll be ready to go when we need them to. We're gonna use them for some special airborne operation to take Jeda possibly later on once we attack Saudi Arabia to try and get this war over with fast. And let me relocate the entire air force. I'll move the transport air wing at least over here to Babylon, that Babylon air base. And that is what we've done there. I wonder if it's enough, even enough, if it's even enough, how does, well, if it's enough transport planes, it should be, looking at the manpower here. Three, oh yeah, it should be fine. I think it will be fine in terms of having enough planes to move the airborne soldiers. And focus on political matters is nearly done. The PKK declares war on the Republic of Turkey. It looks like they're getting destroyed though. Why do they even bother? They want to get annihilated. That is, yeah, they're done. Like it took only like half a week and they're finished. That is unfortunate for them. Focus on political matters is done though. Let's now complete national strength to get ourselves 3% base stability. Terrific. And modify officer corps. Let's get ourselves a, no get a chief of the army who specializes in offensive style stuff spirit of the academy let's go with bold attack good and how much longer when can we fight the kingdom of saudi arabia it will be 16th december of the year 2000 so we have about eight months well not really eight months but like seven months and something like approximately speaking but i'm thinking we should get a victory here if we have enough military factories for our equipment this is a huge issue. Like, look at this deficit. We're looking bad in every department of army supplies, except for trains. We have a lot of trains for some reason. Why do we have so many? Whatever. But we need we need a lot of things. We need anti-air equipment. We need anti-tank. We need artillery. We need motorized artillery. We need tons of infantry equipment, light mechanized, motorized support equipment, mechanized MBT chassis, main battle tanks, essentially, and light tanks. We definitely need infantry equipment the most, because that's what all of our divisions use, for the most part. And at least we have tons of manpower, but if they don't have enough, if we don't have enough equipment to arm all of our men, that basically kind of defeats the purpose of having a huge amount of manpower to fall back on. So I'm definitely going to have to focus on fixing this military factory issue. And national strength is about halfway there, I think. It's almost at 40 days. I'm looking forward to that base stability we'll get from that. And what is Saudi Arabia up to, I wonder? I don't know. They're probably not going to be expecting us too much. I mean, they are going to be expecting us, but this will definitely shock them when we eventually attack them sometime later in the year. Well, in this year, in the mod. And yes, I know missing equipment production. I am aware game. I don't have enough factories. I will address it sometime soon. Modify officer core. Can I get any of my units, to, any of these commanders, to be any kind of officer corps role, or no? Forget it. Make this guy a panzer expert? No, he's a... Actually, yes. He will be a panzer expert. Or combined arms. Okay, now let's go with panzer. No. Actually, yes. Okay, let's go with that then. So he's going to be a panzer expert now, and get this guy a trait also. Give him... Actually, let me give one to this guy. No. Give him Skirmisher. No, I don't know. Camouflage expert? I mean, that might be useful if we ever get into a fight with the USA. Israeli forces retreat from southern Lebanon, and now this guy has Camouflage expert, which means his units will take reduced damage from close air support that could be useful later in the future. I'm hoping it will be anyway. And do I even have enough supply for this war? I mean... There's not enough train. Yeah, I need to probably improve the rail network. Go figure. So let's improve that now, or try to anyway. Get this rail line extended out here to the border with 2000 Inter-Korean Summit took place. So expand that rail line from Carbella, well, to Carbella and Bar line. Build that up so our troops can have supplies more, and that will be done later. That will be done by the end of July, and it's currently like nearly the end of June. 
And do I need to build more railways? Possibly, yes. Maybe? Yeah, I think I do. Okay, two new rail lines. So two new railways. There, national strength is done. Let's now complete nationalism. That will take 70 days. And from this, the... Well, we're going to drift toward nationalism. All right, then. And at this moment in time, we are getting ourselves into our position to eventually attack Saudi Arabia later on in the year 2000. But I will also say... This is, going to, this is going to be the end of part one of my Iraqi Republic playthrough in Novum Vexilum here. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe.